Namaste everyone welcome to our YouTube channel Dr. Abhishek Kumar today we are going to learn about the general anatomy of a skeleton a skeleton includes bones cartilage form the main supporting framework of the body primarily designed for a more effective production of movement by attached muscles bone is one third connective tissue impregnated with calcium salt which constitute the two third part impregnated means soak or saturated here the calcium salt is getting saturated in the bone okay the reason of a skeleton reason wise we will label the bone and number of bones will give a line here in skull region hyoid bone is present so how many hyoid bone only one hyoid bone is present in our body okay second in same skull region of a skeleton the cranium bone is present which is 18 number four on each side now in face the facial bone which is about 14 in number now the auditory ossicles three in each ear malus incus and stapes these are the three bone present in the middle ear so total six six bone are present six auditory ossicles are present now come to the vertebral column 26 26 bone now come to the thorax region in thorax region of a skeleton a sternum only one sternum is present and ribs 24 ribs these are the best example for flat bone and this is axial skeleton so axial skeleton consists of around 80 bones and is composed of six part skull bone or cycles of the middle ear hyoid bone rib cage sternum and vertebral column now come to the pectoral which is also known as in a common language soldier girdle so girdle means belt or cone of swan around the waist since we know that in 20th century the girdle has also been used to define the undergarment meant or made up of elastic fabric that was worn by the woman now in this pectoral girdle the clavicle two clavicle bone is present and a scapula two scapula bone is present this clavicle and scapula is also the best example for the flat bones in our next video when we will learn about the classification of bone there we will see the flat bones now come to the upper extremities in upper extremities humerus two humerus are present two ulna is present two ulna bone and radius which is also two in number will extend the line downward here the carpals 
carpal bone which is 16 in number 8 on each side and metacarpal bones tell me how many metacarpal bones are there 10 very good 5 on each side metacarpal bone total 10 in number and phalanges how many phalanges are there comment it below 28 very good now come to the pelvic region pelvic is also known as in a common language hip so pelvic girdle only one bone is present that is pelvic or hip bone which is two in number one on each side now come to the lower extremities in lower extremities femur bone is present which is two in number one bone on each side then fuvula bone is there fuvula is also two in number then tibia bone is there which is also two in number then patella bone which is also two two patellas then tarsal bone 14 7 on each side metatarsal bones 10 metatarsal bones are present then phalanges which is around 28 so total bones in human body is around 206 206 bones are present in human body so lower extremities pelvic girdles upper extremities you can see the lower extremities and uh, pelvic girdles and upper extremities the bones are present pectoral girdles that is also known as soldier girdles then thorax region two bones are present then in a uh, skull region this hyoid cranium facial and auditory ossicles and vertebral column all together known as axillary axial skeleton now the upper extremities now come to the appendicular skeleton appendicular skeleton include the element within the limbs as well as supporting the pectoral and pelvic girdles here the limbs means upper extremities and lower extremities and pelvic and pectoral region that is a soldier region so all together is known as appendicular skeleton and the axial skeleton as you know as skull and thorax now come to the function of bones what are the functions of bone So bones gives shape and supporting to the body and resist any form of stresses. So generally first function of bone is that it gives shape and support to the body and resist from any kind of stresses. And second function is provide surface for the attachment of muscle, tendon, ligaments. So all our muscles, tendon and ligaments are attached to the bones only. So bone store 97% of body calcium and phosphorus as we all know
सो फोर्थ फंक्शन ऑफ बोन इज बोन मैरो बोन मैरो कंटेंस रेटिकुलो इंडोथिलियल सेल्स सो वाट डज दिस रेटिकुलो इंडोथिलियल सेल्स डू इफ यू नो गाइज कमेंट इट बिलो इन कॉमेंट बॉक्स सो रेटिकुलो इंडोथिलियल सेल्स आर फैगोसैटिक इन नेचर and it also take part in immune response to our body so two function of uh, reticulo endothelial cells which is present in bone marrow that is uh, phagocytic in nature and it also take part in immune response of our body now come to the fifth function of bone the larger the paranasal air sinuses affect the timber of voice here the timber of voice means the quality given to a sound by a overtone so larger the paranasal air sinuses affect the timber of voice now come to the sixth function of bone that is a skull vertebral column and the thorax so this thoracic case all this skull vertebral column and thoracic case protect the brain skull protect the brain vertebral column protect the spinal cord and thoracic case protect the thoracic viscera so this complete the sixth function of bone now come to the seventh function of bone serve as a lateral of muscular action so this complete the function of bone you can take the screenshot so this complete the function of bone and uh, number of bone and skeleton general anatomy of a skeleton please do like subscribe and share this video with your friend tomorrow we are going to see the classification of bone thank you very much